Okay, we look at um, your test. Okay, for allowance for impairment of trip receivables. Okay, how do we do the question? How do we do it? All right, first thing we need to remember is that we need to identify three types of information. One is trade receivables. Two, amount which may be uncollectable. Three, amount which is confirmed uncollectable. So you are given trade receivables, may be uncollectable, and confirmed uncollectable. Using this information, you are supposed to craft the working. Okay, your working should look like this. Okay, all this amount over here, these are the amount which may be uncollectable maybe yeah uh, maybe so you got the amount here 600 okay here is uh, 1080 and here is 320 all placed over here nicely okay then after that this one remember this one is for all those confirmed uncollectable so put in the amount based on the date all right then after that you calculate this this out for you yourself to go and calculate so 600 minus 200 plus unknown give you 1080 okay you should able to arrive at 680 1080 minus 580 plus unknown give you 320. So this happens to be a negative figure. Okay, once you arrive at this, okay, then after you're supposed to craft the account on top. Okay, so all these are balance brought down, all these are trade receivables, all these are impairment loss on trade receivables. Okay, all this number on a new line, each on a new line. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. Okay, like this one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Okay. So seven lines. Each of each of the numbers in a new line. Okay. So six hundred is your balance brought down. Okay. Two hundred. Trade receivable. Must write the name. Okay. Six eight zero impairment loss. One zero eight zero balance brought down. Five eight zero trade receivable. Yuki. One eight zero because it's a negative figure. Have to shift over to the other side. Right as still right as impairment loss on trade receivable and end off with balance brought down okay then like this finish okay as for the impairment loss very straightforward go on top look for impairment loss impairment loss on the right will go to the left left will go to the right so right go left then jump again right profit and loss left go right jump again go back put profit and loss okay the just put this one must put allowance this one must put profit and loss allowance profit and loss finish okay if this is an impairment loss account, inside cannot have impairment loss again. It must be a different account name. So take note, do not duplicate the account name. This is impairment loss, you will write allowance. This is allowance, inside we will write impairment loss. Okay. As for the income statement, right? Okay, income statement, if you notice the working, there's a negative one is zero. This is the negative one is zero. You have to put bracket, it's special. We call it reversal of impairment loss on trip receivable. Whenever you have a negative, it's a reversal. Just take note of that. If not, you just if, if it's just a normal one, you just write impairment loss on trip receivable without bracket, just one eight zero. If a, if it's a normal one. But this question is a reversal. Alright. Then after that you go to your balance sheet, write the extract. Trade receivables is one seven two zero zero. Take from where? Take from here. Okay, this trade receivables is used only for balance sheet extract. It's not used for allowance account, it's not used for impairment loss account. It's only used for balance sheet extract. These three numbers only used for balance sheet extract. Okay, then you less allowance for impairment of trade receivables. This one take from where? Either you take from here, 320, or you take from the account at the end, 320. Both are fine. All right. See, okay, then at the end, you must learn this prudence concept. All right, and that's all for the test. Okay, hope to see you soon.